Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring this Hamilton home. The name of this home is the Tucson. This home is gorgeous, you guys. I can't wait for you to see what this house looks like. I'm not gonna walk around it because the way these manufactured homes are parked on this lot they're in, too close, you wouldn't be able to see it. Let's go on in and see what the inside of this house looks like. Love, love, love this house. This house is gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. All right, so we just came in through the front door. Just giving you a sneak peek of the rest of the house, but this is the living room. So that's the front door. That's your living room right there. All right, that's the full view of your living room. You have beams in the ceiling. You got a ceiling fan in here. You got three big windows bringing in lots of natural light. And you have this area here. You could probably put a 75 or 80 inch TV up there. You got built-ins on either side of the uh, entertainment area. You also have your electric fireplace it down below. Really nice setup. I can see uh, games, DVDs, if you still watch DVDs, uh, decor pieces, uh, books, whatever you like, records, uh, if you play vinyls, just whatever you like in this area. You can do a lot with this area. Love the setup, love the brickwork around the fireplace. It goes well with, um, with the flooring. And one thing I like about Hamilton Homes is they love the color, the color block. So I love the fact that you have the two-tone color in this room. Looks really nice. Really, really nice. Love it. All right, had to get it back on track. So that's a full view of the living room. On round to the kitchen. Here's your kitchen and your dining room area. Love it. Love the fact that the color uh, is different. The living room, the darker color is in the bottom. And then the dining room, the darker color is at the top. You've got can lights and vents in the ceiling. Uh, no chandelier, but I love the can lights. Um, I love how much space you have in this dining room area. Just really nice. I'm just gonna let you take it in. From the dining room onto the kitchen, you've got open shelving over here, but you also have uh, regular cabinets on this side. Lots of storage space. <clears throat> You've got counter space. Love the butcher block. Countertops. Love it. You've got this huge island here. You could put three or four bar stools here, depending on how they're made. Really nice. Black appliances, black sink, black and silver faucet. Love it. This extra wide. Uh, Window is nice, and I love the open shelving. Really nice. Lovely. Got your built-in microwave, which is a plus. Love all the cabinets here. Lots of storage space. And you've got shelving inside the cabinets. Really nice. Love the hardware that they used, the large hardware. And it extends even to the darker cabinets uh, and drawers in the island. This is a pretty kitchen. Love this kitchen. So I'm gonna go back over here and let you spin from the living room. And then that's the dining room and kitchen. Really lovely. All right, so let's go down this hallway 
to your additional bedrooms. Okay, so the first guest bedroom is right here to the right. This is what the guest best bedroom looks like. Uh, you got carpet in here. Again, these are some really big windows. This isn't your average size window. These windows are huge. Huge window in here. This is what your closet in this bedroom looks like. I'll walk in. So that is what your closet looks like. You can actually, you don't just come and hang. You can actually walk in to hang your stuff. So what I would do would be extend it here, have more hang space. And then on this wall, you could actually put one halfway down or either put shelving going up this wall for shoes and purses and things like that, even on both of them. So really nice. So this is your first guest bedroom. It could be a kid's bedroom. You know, some people get offended because I say guest bedroom. But when you go to view this home, that is exactly what the salespeople say. These are guest bedrooms. Of course, in your home, it may be your kid's room. It may be an office. It may be your parents' room. It's not to offend anybody. We don't know what you're going to call this room. But right for now, it's not the primary or the master. It's one of the additional or guest bedrooms. It's what I'm used to saying. You can label it what you want. It's not to be offensive, you guys. So that is why I call it a guest bedroom. Because when I come and view these homes with other people that work here, they say guest bedroom. And I think a lot of times that the people who say that haven't been to view the homes or don't have knowledge of that or maybe other people's channels don't say that. But on my channel, I call them guest bedrooms. Now, this may be your daughter's room or your son's room, or it may be a guest bedroom. But these are the uh, guest bedroom is the additional bedrooms in the house. So this is guest bedroom number one, and that is what it looks like. Next to guest bedroom number one, you have all of this storage area. You have one, two, three cabinets. I'm going to take this down and they have drawers. So this is kind of like storage, linen closet. You can put sheets, towels, toiletries, games, books, all kind of stuff in here. I absolutely love, love, love this. All right. I absolutely love this area. I don't often see this type of area um, in any of these homes. So this is really nice. This is right in the hallway. And I'm going to turn around and let you see just how much space you have in this hallway. So you have all of this hallway and you have that space right there. So we just saw guest bedroom number one. So let's go here. This is guest bedroom number two here, you guys. All right. So this is guest bedroom number two. All right, so this is what guest bedroom number two looks like. We'll look at the closet. The closet for guest bedroom number two is here. Same type of closet. You can actually walk in there. Needs additional shelving, but that's a quick fix. You can either ask the uh, dealer to add you some shelving in here, or you can add what you want once you get the home, um, get possession of the home. Really nice. Really, really nice. So that's guest bedroom number two. Next to guest bedroom number two is the back door and uh, or side door because it's on the side of the house and the utility room. You have this mud room area right here. I'll go in and let you take a look. So right when you walk in, you have this mud room area, right? So you got this bench here. You can put a cushion on that. People can sit down. There are drawers that go in there. Sit down, take the shoes off, hang their coats up, put their hats and bags up there, uh, throw their shoes in a drawer, however you want to do it. Or you can store things in there, maybe toys and stuff for the pets, just whatever you like. But that's right off 
right next to the back door. And then in front of the back door, this area right here is your AC unit. That'll be covered up. Your washer and dryer will go over here. You've got shelving up there. And then you've got counter and cabinet space over here. You've got four cabinets, all of that counter space you can fold clothes. You've got this deep sink that you can use to wash out intimates and different things like that. And then you've also got cabinet space, storage space up there. So really lovely. Yeah, really, really lovely. So this is the utility room, you guys. Really nice. These utility rooms are getting better and better. All right, so we saw two guest bedrooms. Uh, next to the utility room, you've got a guest bath. This guest bath has a huge mirror over two sinks. You've got two cabinets and uh, three drawers in here. You've got a deep soaker tub in your guest. This, is, this tub is in my master. We're in the guest bath, you guys. You got a frosted window over a huge soaker tub. You've got all of the storage space and drawers in their linen closet area. So, you know, you have this storage space outside and then you also have this storage space in the bathroom. You've got storage area over the toilet and then you've got a shower that you can actually, you've got two places to sit or put your feet or whatever you like in the shower. And this is actually sliding glass versus having to put up a shower curtain. All right, so that is just the guest bath. I'm expecting big things out of the master if we have all of this in the guest bath. This is beautiful. And then right here, we have the third guest bath. Again, this is a four bedroom. So this is, uh, excuse me, guest bedroom. So this is your third guest bedroom. Uh, this is the size here. And then we'll take a look at the closet. So this is more of a standard closet. You walk to this closet and you don't have space to step in just to hang your clothes. Okay. Really nice. All right, so that's the third guest bedroom. And just to give you an idea, again, we walked down this hall. And we walked down this hall. We had a bedroom, storage area, bedroom, linen closet, bathroom, bedroom. So that's what it looks like back here. Really lovely. Really, really lovely. Back into the living room, we're going to walk straight across to... Uh, the master. All right, you got your master bedroom right here. You got two big windows there. All of this space is your master bedroom. You've got a ceiling fan in your master. Really nice. Really lovely. All right, you got two doors that open into your master bath. So let's go take a look and see what this master bath has to offer. I like these two doors and how they open. I could also see two French doors here, two glass doors, but um, these doors would do nicely as well. So when you walk in, all of this space here is over your sink. Wow, you got a lot of storage underneath and all around. You've got open shelving on the top, and then you've got... Uh, storage on all around this whole area. Really lovely. Really lovely. So that is what it looks like head on. Next to the uh, double sinks, you got uh, another frosted glass window over this soaker tub. You've got even more space for storage there. And here, drawers and a makeup table. Wow, this is really lovely, you guys. Lovely. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So you have all of this area here. Two sinks, lots and lots of storage space, tub, makeup area. That's this room. You also have overhead 
the overhead area. And I don't think I mentioned it on the double sinks, but there are can lights above the makeup table and also above the two sinks here. So each one of them has a light, each sink. Now there's a separate room for your toilet and for your shower. You've got your toilet in here, transom window up top, and then as only Hamilton, home, Ham, Hampton, Hamilton Homes will do, they've got this wonderful, wonderful shower attachment. You've got the rain shower from here. You've got water that comes straight on. I'll get in so you can see. Straight out right here. Water that comes straight out right here. And then this comes off and it's water as well. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This glass doesn't slide. This is a really thick glass, but it's just there. Um, you just walk around that. So really nice. Lovely. Lovely. And then across from the two sinks is the master closet. So all of this is closet space. And you have this cubby, these cubbies that you can have things in as well as the counter space up top. All of that is your master. This, this home is beautiful. This master bath is absolutely amazing. Okay. This master bath, this house is amazing. This is the Tucson, you guys. Hamilton Homes. This is the Tucson. Um, it's a four bedroom, two bath. One twenty five nine plus tax. You can't beat it with a stick. So again, I'm the mobile home diva. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and share this video with your friends, okay? Thanks so much for watching.